Hello, my name is Susan Rushton, and this is my third show for the Auburn Community Television, ACTV. I have two others, and on one of them I used, I, I sometimes had uh, people come and talk to about books and writing, sometimes, maybe once a year. And finally I thought, good Lord, Good grief, I can do better than this. So this is Lifetime English Major. That's what I am, Lifetime English Major. And in the, at another time, in another time, another show, I will, of, of Lifetime English Major, we'll talk about that, what that means, what I mean. But I have a master's degree in English and I just wanted to talk about books and writers and librarians, libraries, bookstores, readers, etc in particular books, and my first book I want to talk about, and I won't, it won't be long, it'll never be long. This is Dave Barry's Big Trouble, Big Trouble by Dave Barry. I highly recommend it because it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, Stephen King says that while reading Dave Barry's Big Trouble, I laughed so hard I fell out of a chair. I thought, when I read that. Oh, sure. Okay. Well, okay. Yes, I do like Dave Barry. So, yes. Okay. Oh, well, sure. So I started to read it, and <clears throat> he's right. Seriously. It's ridiculous. It's alarming, It's and it has lots of swear words in it. I wouldn't use children. I wouldn't have children reading it, but you can read it it's hilarious. And once you find him, I recommend that you find others of his. This is Dave Barry, and he's a wonderful writer. And this is Big Trouble, very silly, very scary, very well written. Big Trouble by Dave Barry. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, today my guests for the first Lifetime English Major is Kathleen Edwards. Thank you, Kathleen. My pleasure. Thank you. And can I can we include your email? Yes, you may. Okay, her email. Kathleen L E E N Edwards. R Edwards. R Edwards. Kathleen R Ed Edwards at gmail.com. And Michelle Young. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Can we use your email? Definitely. Okay. Shy S H what S H Y O U N G nine two one as S B C Global dot net. These women are deeply involved with Auburn Friends of the Library, Auburn F O L. More information F O L Auburn C A dot org at the Auburn Library, three fifty Nevada Street in Auburn. Every first Tuesday and following Saturday. And the following Saturday. There's a, 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 a book sale next to the library, up above the hill, right? Correct. Up on the hill. From 9 to 3. 9 to 3. I love that organization. I, I love Auburn FOL, and I suppose I should, I do belong, I do belong. I have, I've sent you guys money. I we just don't work. It. I just don't work for you. <laughs> My husband works for you. He certainly but, does. Yes. So, um, Kathleen, uh, how long have you been involved with FOL? Well, I've been involved with FOL since about 1974. Oh my! Yes. For a while. For quite a while. Longer than I've been here. Uh, uh, wow. Okay. Well, I was a. Why? I was a friend of Jean Cousins. And if you oh, know anything let's about say Jean that, say Cousins, that again. say that again. You were I was a friend, a friend of Jean Cousins, yes. and when Jean Cousins would ask somebody to join or do something, yes, you said yes. I will. I will. <laughs> I must. Yes. You must. Right. <laughs> Therefore, I will. Yeah. Okay. And Jean Cousins started FOL in 1954. But I thought you would find this interesting that the Friends of Auburn Library really started in 1885 when a group of women got together and started what they called the Endeavor Club and later it was called the um, Friends of Auburn Library and it was formed to promote a making a library in Auburn. Ah, so in they, they succeeded. They did. Finally. And now we 
continue that heritage. Yes, yes. So it's pretty nice. Yes. And I will, I will, okay, we will come back to that. Michelle, how long have you been involved in FOL? Probably about 14 to 15 years. Okay. And I got involved because of Kathleen Edwards. We, we she were, said, you need to do this. And, and <laughs> okay. Pretty, we, we met while our children were young in mm -hmm. school, and we would do the different enrichment programs, and we took uh, chaperones for the ski trips. And Kathleen was a wonderful supporter of everything. And when she approached me, she said, would you be willing to join the Friends of the Library, be on the board? And I said, sure. Okay. <laughs> and it's, we've been going strong ever since. Okay. Because we love it. Why do you love it? Oh, my goodness. Probably one of the things as a, a, a board a, directors, we, you know, you come up with a mission statement, you come up with what it means to us. And basically we came up with just a, a short sentence. We are promoting our library as part of your life. We are promoting our library as part of your life. Yes, we want to promote our library as part of your life. And that's what we do. <laughs> I love it. Because we want, you know, age is, makes no difference. Right. We've got the very youngest, the little ones sitting on yeah. the parents' laps, so yes. they sit in the library program on up to us older folks, or mm -hmm. my more mature yes. folks, and we see this with the used book sale. We have everybody mm -hmm. from all ages that come and are thrilled with the selection at the used book sale. And we also um, have puzzles, audiobooks, CDs, DVDs. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful children's room so the parents can put the children, not put them in, invite them in. The kids see come, it. They're come in there. Come in and look. They are in there. They are Play. loving it. And then the adults can go through and um, choose the books that they're looking for. And everybody comes out with a big smile on their face. Oh, that, wonderful. That is so rewarding to us. Oh, yeah. And you know, rewarding to them, too. Goodness, yes. I learned a new term from one of the young moms this year because we really consider the library uh, community resource and she was saying this is my third place and I said what does that mean and she says well first place is home second place is your work and third place yes. is where you want to hang out where you want to meet friends where you just are comfortable and I just think what a wonderful thing and she said that's how lots of folks think of it yeah, that's our third place. Yeah, the library. It's free to all. Mm. Open to everyone. Yes, yes. Wonderful, it wonderful. Is. Yeah. It is. Now, when I'm th while I'm thinking about it, I um, always carry a, a little thing to write write on, um, and I I was at I came in to the to the Beecher room at the end of one of the times when the kids are there, mm -hmm. and um, there was this little boy. I said, "What do you think?" He said, I love this church. Oh, <laughs> sweet. That's sweet. That's it's not sweet. a church, but maybe it could be. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's his third place. Yes, his absolutely. Third. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe his second. Yes, it could be. Maybe his yeah. second. <laughs> you know, Susan, you were saying how you're a member, but you don't work for us. I want to tell you that our members, all of them, work for us. As we promote the library, it's really important that our city council, our board of supervisors, know how much the community supports and promotes the library. And so I always think that not everyone has to be on the board, not everyone has to do things, but I think we have 361 members. Mm -hmm. And when you go to a board and supervisors meeting and can say that, we have 361 people mm -hmm. right now that just know how important the library is yes and it speaks volumes good so you're speaking volumes with your ten dollar a year donation well i, I do i do more than that <laughs> yes we know <laughs> but you know that's all that we ask yeah that's lovely yeah okay so so um so the the friends of the library exists to sell books to, to collect books and if they collect books because people present people give books to the friends of the library so if you have books you want to donate please mm -hmm. donate Definitely. when did when did when can people donate well they can donate um, on the sale day 
the first Tuesday the following Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. The following, the second Tuesday and following Saturday, it's just donation days, no sales, but just donations, so they can bring it then from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So tell them that. So they can donate books on the sale days, the first Tuesday of the month and the following Saturday from 9 to 3, and then the second at Tuesday the at the Annex. Yes, yeah. that's important, <laughs> which is up the hill from the uh, library. And then the second Tuesday and following Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., we just it's just donations only. Right, okay. And we get just an incredible number of donated books, all different genres. It's, yeah. it's amazing. And people are thrilled that they have a place for their books. A lot mm -hmm. of people are moving mm -hmm. or that sort of thing, and they just, they're like, my books, but <laughs> they're going to get a good home. Yeah. So it's yeah. a win-win. And the monies that we raise all go to the li towards the library for their collection, um, which with its CDs, DVDs, mm -hmm. audiobooks, books of all genres, etc. Mm -hmm. So this is very important. Yeah. And people are so thrilled because they're able to donate, they're able to purchase, and they know the monies are going to the library sure. to keep it going. Yes, going to the library. Yes. 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 Which yes. is wonderful. Yes, I agree. Um, so why do you think reading words... No. Books are important. <laughs> what, a, what a question. <laughs> Why do you think books are important? But tell me that. You know, it's interesting in this day and age with you have, you know, computers and you have your Kindle, you have your, you know, your electronic books mm -hmm. and what have you. But there's something about holding a book in your hand mm -hmm. and turning pages. It's, it's amazing to me. I mean, I enjoy Kindle, but I really love to have a book in my hand to turn the pages. And it's just like an, some of them, you know, I'll reread re books. It's like an old friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it's, it's wonderful. And then watching the children choose a book that I read as a child, and I read to my children, and they're just as excited about it as I remember feeling. Mm -hmm. And they're just, they'll come out with stacks of books, and they're just skipping around, and they're so excited. And we need to be able to read. Yes. We, we need to be able to read and, and be um, well-informed members of society. And that's important. It's not fun, but it's important. It's important. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun. Yeah. But, and but, our members like to read so much that uh, one of our most popular programs is Reading in the Classroom, which I know you have volunteered for, yes. so we thank you. Yes. And that's when we send members of the community to the classrooms, they choose a book that they would like and read aloud either a whole book or a mm -hmm. section of a book to the older grades. Yeah, and that's fun. we had to stop it with after COVID, yeah. but we're hoping to resume it this next spring. Oh, good. But this year, instead of that, for to honor Read Across America and Dr. Seuss, FOL changed tactics because we couldn't get the reading in the classroom together. And we purchased books for every TK through third grade classroom in Ackerman School District and Auburn Union School District. Oh, excellent. And took those to the teachers. Oh, wonderful. So we were still able to celebrate reading yes. and sharing our love for books. That's great. That's wonderful. Yeah. And I have I have seen, you were talking about, about watching these kids yes. reading, and I'm so eager, I'm so I would love to say, oh, isn't that wonderful? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? You'll just love that. But, uh, I, and I will, I will share this with you again. Um, but my mother, I, I got, I got um, uh, Little Women mm -hmm. for, uh, from a friend of mine when I was 10. And my mother said, oh, you'll just love that. It's just wonderful. Oh, Sue's, you'll just think... And I didn't. I never read it. Oh my goodness! I, I never read it. I've seen all the movies, and I finally listened to it. But I, but she she was so enthusiastic, and, I, and so it was good for me. it was good for me. So I'm not going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> so I I see people. I see kids reading what I just adored. And ah. So you're reading, oh, I'm that. Well, good. I hope you like. Or, or it, maybe I don't even include that. Oh, well. Hmm. But 
it's it's lovely seeing children in a library yes. like, on the floor. Yes, oh, reading it is. Just okay, this is this is all this is all I want to do is sit here and read this book, or just look at it. <laughs> flap 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 flap. I love that. I do too. <laughs> and they become lifelong readers. Yes, which is what we want. Yes, yes. that's also <clears throat> we agree what they want. Yes. Oh goodness, what, what else could you possibly want other than being able to read well and read often and read good books? Mm -hmm. Goodness, I, this is, this, I like talking about, like, talking like a lifetime English major. <laughs> yes. um, so, what, is your, what are your jobs with, with Friends of the Library? Well, this year I am the Vice President. Vice President, what does that mean? That means I'm I, the vice president, Susan. Yes, <laughs> and that means the president tells me what to do. Pretty much. <laughs> okay. So I'm there to support and um, assist when necessary, where necessary. For example, when our board president Louise Isaacson couldn't make this, yeah, then she Louise, appointed Louise Louise Isaacson, who is our board president. I E E V I I S. A C C S O N S O N. Okay, Isaacson. Okay, yes. Louise I Louise I Isaacson yes. is the president, mm -hmm. and you are the VP. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Kathleen, I am the recording secretary this okay. year. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I keep the minutes. Oh, you're a secretary. Oh boy. I wasn't born a secretary, no, but, <laughs> was but, I. but I can. <laughs> I try to listen well. Yeah. And Good. Keep accurate Good. minutes. Okay. So. It's very important. Yes. And I'm always happy when I get your minutes oh, after the you. meeting because <laughs> I kind of review, oh yeah, oh, oh, I missed That's that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. We need that. Yeah. Okay. So. so so it's not just getting getting books and 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 selling them. There's 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 you you want to go promote. Ahead. Promote. Promote. We want to promote the library. We're Strong than, advocates for the library. How do you promote the library? In, in a variety of ways. We have a lot of, of, I don't know if I brought it, but we have a lot of community outreach. Outreach. We do the Celebrity Chef. We do, obviously, reading in the classroom. Um, the Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. We have a booth at the Oktoberfest okay. where we usually hand out some uh, free books to oh, people. Yes. Always free books to people who might, you know, come. And what? And where is the Oktoberfest? At the Auburn, at the Recreation Park. Which one? North it's or south? South. South. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's where they have the big scarecrow contests and the big pumpkin yeah. contests. Yeah. Okay. On. That's, that's where the South Stella Irving Hall. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay. Off so. of racetrack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Off of racetrack. Yeah. And we recently joined the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, good. Which is wonderful. It's a wonderful, another outreach program um, where we can toss across ideas and promote, promote the library through the Chamber, which is another real plus for the whole community. Yeah. Which, great people there. Just wonderful. <laughs> so. And so tell me when the Oktoberfest is. Is it usually the... It's, Toward the end of October, it's on a Saturday. Oh, so the yeah, lots of lots of yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then our annual dinner is. Our annual dinner. Oh. Will be, yeah. Yes, that's yeah. a highlight. January, yes. January twenty sixth, two thousand twenty five. Okay. And it's the last year. Sunday in January Always. every year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so. this is not only a fundraiser, but it's more of a community opportunity to get together with old friends, new friends, in a wonderful environment, and to promote the library. Yes. It's, it's just I an love incredible it. evening. I just I love it. And all these people, all of whom love the library, <sighs> love books, mm -hmm. and, and live in the area. Yes. This is a, this is an area, this is a collection, a community with love books. Exactly. Jeez, I just love it. And one of the things that we do every year um, on a, as for part of the centerpiece is we put a sack of books. Mm -hmm. And this last year, well, this year actually, mm -hmm. last January, we said, let's just get all hardbound books, which we did. And we took four boxes full. 
we only came back with a half of a book <laughs> because we tell everyone these Please, are yours. If you like any of these books, help yourself. Uh -huh. People were going home like this with, yeah. oh, they were so excited. And so that was a real win-win. You know, we were so pleased that people were enjoying the books and they went home with them. And Good reading. Good. That's wonderful. <laughs> yes. That's wonderful. What a kick. I just, I just love that. Yeah, we do too. <laughs> oh, we do. man. And you but know, that dinner has been going on for yeah, 35. It's a, oh. it's a heck of a lot of work. It's, it is. Ooh. It is. Plus, plus you, you get all these things from all these people in the, in the area and that, that, that people can win. Ooh. The yes. auction. The, yes, the auction. The auction. One other travel. thing that one of our, um, in our mission statement is that we seek for people to give bequests, endowments, mm -hmm. and Michelle's been working on one that you, I think you'd like to hear about. Yes. Yes. In well, July 6, 1923, the Friends of the Library received a $300,000 check from the Marjorie Calf Trust. Now, I'm how much of that was? How much of that? What was yes. the three hundred thousand? And when? What? When was that? <laughs> July sixth, two thousand twenty-three. Ah, okay. And Marjorie Calf, well, basically in her trust, and I'm going to read so I don't mess this up. Okay. She she set this up to promote and maintain the Auburn Library nonfiction book collection. Hmm. So she was an avid reader, a conservationist, and an animal lover. She, an incredible human being. Oh. <laughs> so she also contributed generously to the Placer County, the, the whole Placer County Library System. And so her gift to the Placer County Library System will benefit everyone for years to come. Yes. And she was a teacher at Placer, at Placer High, School. High School. She was in the military also. She, an incredible woman. <laughs> and we were just floored. Wow. Yeah. Just, so it is our responsibility to handle the trust mm -hmm. according to her wishes. Yes. And this is what yeah. we're doing. <laughs> and we will all benefit. All of us, the entire wow. community. Whole community. Yeah. yeah. Did either of you know her? I didn't, but I didn't. No, but one of our board members uh, remembered her from Placer High School. Okay. Yes. So. Wow. Uh, yes, we were just this. This came out of the blue, and we were like, <gasps> so it's a very, it's a, it's a, we feel very honored to be given this position, to make sure that that money is well spent in, in the way she has asked us to do in her yeah. trust. And how much was it? Three 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 hundred thousand okay. dollars. And if you if you want to uh, donate, you don't have to think about yourself as needing to to have three hundred thousand dollars in in your back pocket. Exactly. <laughs> you, can, you can. I see Phil reaching into his pocket. <laughs> no, I don't, out. I don't have any money. <laughs> but any money you can you can donate would be delighted. Definitely. Be, be happy. Definitely. Oh. And the library is working uh, with us on the choosing of the materials for the nonfiction books for the Placer County Library System. Neat. So, And that's the beauty, I think, of the, syst the library system. It, it, all of the libraries, they'll you can say, oh, the book is down in Rockland. Oh, that's okay. We'll get it for you. We'll get it for, we'll you. Get it yes. for you. So we Come have back access to six the next libraries. Day, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's a wonderful system. Yes, it's fantastic. Yes. So yeah. yes, this is why we love our library. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> okay, um, I would love to. Well, do you remember finding a book that shook you somehow lovingly? Did well, I was just the book I was thinking about was one of the first um, grown-up books I read. And so that's what I was thinking about was the agony and the ecstasy. Oh my, interesting. I know. Um, it was huge. Mm -hmm. Huge book. And in fact, yes. I didn't and how turn old it. Were I, you? I was about 13. 14. Oh my. And um, it took me so long to read it, I had to pay a big fine on it because it was <laughs> over. <laughs> but it was well worth it. Yeah. But yeah, what was so was interesting it. that to me, to a young person, was that Michelangelo would look at the old um, corpses and bite, dissect them oh. <clears throat> to study muscles. Uh -huh. And that was quite an enlightenment for yeah. me to see how artists work and yes. how they learn about the shapes of muscles on the human body. Yeah. So it was, 
quite a change from the Nancy Drews that I really sure. liked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Michelle, what about you? Well, I, I went much younger. Um, where I was born and raised in Petaluma, California, we had one of the old Carnegie libraries. Mm -hmm. And I came across the Boxcar Children. Oh. Oh. I just fell in love with that series. Mm -hmm. Just, I just, I read every, every book she wrote. And uh, over and over and over. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes, uh, yes. And then when we moved up to Auburn, I thought, because I had two young daughters at that time, and I thought, well, I wonder. And I thought, I went, look, check the library. Sure enough, they had the Box for Children <laughs> series. <clears throat> I said, oh, this is a good library. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Introduced it to my daughters. They fell in love with that series. Yeah. And since then, with some of the kids that come into the used book sales, they're looking for a series or something, and I will mention it to them. And I said, now, right now, we don't have any on our shelf. But if you go down the hill to the library, uh -huh. they have them. Oh, good. And they go, oh, let me write that down. Oh, cool. So that's another thing that's quite nice and a lot of fun working at the used book sale because we can refer people just going down the hill to the library yes, because yeah. they'll have this or that or and what they're they looking don't for. They charge. Yeah. And that's what we're going to say. And it's free. free. Yes. yes. No yeah. strings attached. No yeah. strings. And they, yeah. they get all excited about that, too. Oh, wonderful. Which is which is great oh yeah mm -hmm. okay definitely for me uh the lion the witch in the wardrobe oh, yes. oh. yeah another good one c.s lewis yes oh um there were i think it's six or seven books and but i can remember where i was the weather who else was in the room when i was reading they say aslan is on the uh, is on the move has perhaps has already landed Oh my goodness! Wow. <laughs> Here we spoke. I, and I have not stopped listening to those books. Oh, they're so oh. good! Oh, it's ridiculous. It's <laughs> silly, but but oh, I just love them. Okay, my guests for my first lifetime English major have have been Kathleen Edwards. Thank you, Kathleen, and Michelle Young. And please consider going to uh, Oktoberfest toward the end of, of October um, at, near the racetrack. Um, that's, that's a wonderful time. And also the last Sunday in, in January for the, for what's the name of it? Well, that? we call it, We Love Our Library. We Love, our, li we love our Library Dinner. Yes. And we do. And we it's do. obvious that that we anybody who's there does. Oh my goodness! Well, so thank you for joining me for a lifetime English major. I hope to see you again, and I know I will see you. Definitely. Yes. Oh, thank you, Kathleen and Michelle. Thank I you. really thank appreciate you, Susan. you joining me. Thank you for inviting us. It's yes. a pleasure. Good. Thank you, and thanks again.